In this section, we're going to be looking at equations and functions that you should pretty much have memorized and are graphs that you're going to be asked to be able to draw at a moment's notice. The first one is the linear function where you have y equals x. Now if you think about that, that's the same as y equals 1x plus 0 if you were to write that in slope-intercept form. So the y-intercept at 0 means it's going to hit the origin, and it's got a slope of rise 1, run 1. And this basically is going to be the diagonal line that crosses straight through and cuts in half the first and third quadrants. Now they're asking for the domain and the range. Well, the domain is going to be all real numbers because this graph goes left and right forever, and the range will also be all real numbers because the graph extends infinitely both upward and downward. You should be also very familiar with the graph of y equals x squared. Let's graph this using an xy chart, and I'm going to use the input values of 0, plus and minus 1, and plus and minus 2. Now the rule for this equation says square the x value. So 0 squares to 0, giving you the point 0, 0. Both 1 and negative 1 square to 1, which gives you two more points on this graph. And 2 and negative 2 both square to 4, which gives you points at 2, 4 and negative 2, 4. This is a u-shaped graph which is known as a parabola, and its domain is all real numbers because it goes to the left and right forever. However, its range never has any y values below the x-axis, and so it is only from 0, which we include, up to infinity. The cubic function, also known as y equals x cubed, 0 cubed is 0, 1 cubed is 1, negative cubed is negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Those are three key points on this graph, at which point the graph gets very large very quickly and very small very quickly, and that becomes the graph. The domain is all real numbers because it extends left and right forever as it's going up quickly, and the range is also all real numbers. Notice how the if we were to plot additional points, we'd be plotting 2 comma 8, 3 comma 27, and those are values that are right off the bat too large for this graph. The next graph that you pretty much should have memorized is that of y equals absolute value of x. This is just going to be a v-shaped graph, which extends into both the first and second quadrants. It goes through the point 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, and negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2, etc. What is its domain? Well, it extends forever to the left and the right, so its domain is all real numbers, and its range can only be 0 and above, so the range will be 0, which we include, to positive infinity. y equals the square root of x. Now, if you think about this, the square root of 0 is 0, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2 is 4. So this graph is going to go through 0, 0, 1, 1, and, sorry, I should have said the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Let's go there, 4, 2. And we get a sideways half parabola. There can never be a negative value input into the square root, and the square root must always be positive, so we can't have anything down below the x-axis. So our domain is going to go from 0, which we include, up to infinity, and the range will also be from 0 to infinity. One way with the domain, we're looking at the x x, x values going to the right forever, and with the range, we're looking at the y values going upward forever. For the reciprocal function, basically, well, let's look at an xy chart. You cannot substitute in 0, but if you substitute in 1, 1 over 1 is 1. If you substitute in 2, you get 1 half. If you substitute a half in, you get 2. And so that gives us three points right here, which give us a graph up in the top right corner in the first quadrant. And likewise, we're going to have some matching points down here in the third quadrant. 
Now the graph is never going to touch the axes um, because it can never equal 0 for both y or x. So the domain is going to be negative infinity to 0 not included united with 0 to infinity. And that's looking from left to right saying all x values except for 0 can be uh, involved in this problem. And the range will also be negative infinity to 0 union 0 to infinity, but this time we're looking at all the y values which can be assumed except for y equals 0. Now they want us to graph y equals 5 thirds x squared. Now that's a slightly different equation for us and I think we do want an xy chart. When we substitute in 0 and square it we get 0 times 5 thirds is still 0. So this graph does go through the origin. If I substitute in either plus or minus 1 and square those x values, I get 1, and then multiply by 5 thirds, I get 5 thirds, which is 1 and 2 thirds, which makes our graph go a little bit steeper than the standard parabola. If I look at plus and minus 2, which squares to 4, 4 times that 5 thirds is 20 thirds. Now 20 thirds is 6 and 2 thirds. So we're going to have a graph right above my graph paper there and there. And you can see that this will be looking like a parabola and being a little bit steeper than normal. So there we have. Now it says I indicate 5 points on the graph. I've done that already. Finally, we look at negative 3 quarters x cubed. Let's start with an input value of 0. 0 cubed is 0. Multiplied by anything is 0. So this graph goes through the origin. Let's substitute in 1. 1 cubed is 1. Multiplied by negative 3 fourths is negative 3 quarters. And so we're going to have a point down there in the fourth quadrant negative 1. When we cube the negative 1, we get negative 1. Multiplied by negative 3 fourths gives us positive 3 fourths. And so we have another point right around there. Let's try 2. 2 cubes to 8. 8 times negative 3 fourths is negative 6. So 2 negative 6 will be on our graph. I'm going to zoom down there. And we're going to have negative 2 positive 6, which is up here. So hopefully you can see those two points. And it's going to look like the cubic graph we saw earlier, except it's going downward from left to right instead of upward from left to right. Remember that the standard x cubed graph looked like this. Okay, And I probably could have drawn this with a little bit of a flatter center to give it a smoother curve, but um, I think you get an idea of what this graph looks like.